Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Notable Blend Chorus. Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Talkin' Tunes. I am your host, Frank Walsh. Thanks for tuning in today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you just heard a piece of a 25-woman group who performs doo-wop. They perform American classic. They perform a little bit of country. They perform in many of the local venues, nursing homes, festivals. They'll go anywhere where they're asked. They have been on the show before, for those of you who might have tuned in. And they are just an incredible group of ladies, and you are going to hear more from them in a little bit. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you a couple of members of that group, Roxy and Morris and Angie Dolber. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. First Thanks. of all, Roxanne, I mean, you were on the wrong side of the camera. What are you doing here? What? <laughs> you were usually in that booth pushing buttons, making me look and sound pretty. I hope uh, Dave Young and Lorene Kubek, who is in the booth today, can do that. Oh, they can. Well, and I have to thank you very much, Frank, for doing this. Oh, uh, my um, pleasure. I, I'm not often tunes. surrounded by beauty as much as this, so, you know, believe <laughs> me. <laughs> but first of all, thank you for coming on, and, and thank you all. So, um, Roxanne, why don't you catch us up a little bit and um, maybe uh, talk about whatever you want to talk about this group. Sure. Well, um, yes, I have been with this wonderful chorus called Notable Blend since... Oh, 2001 or so, and um, what we are is a, a women's barbershop chorus, and is, which is part of an international organization of women barbershop called Harmony Incorporated, yep. and that we sing, um, rehearse every Wednesday night um, at the Good Shepherd Presbyterian Church down in uh, 701 Foundry Street in South Easton, Wednesday nights from 7 to 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. And that we are there to sing in and learn about barbershop harmony. Yeah. And our wonderful d director here is <laughs> Angie Dolber. Hi. Yeah. yeah, I've actually been a member of Harmony Incorporated since 2000. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm a 19 year Barber Shopper. So we sing a cappella music, so mm -hmm. it's all a cappella. Mm -hmm. um, we do have learning tracks and we do have sheet music that mm -hmm. we give to our members to mm -hmm. learn. So um, technically you don't have to know how to read music, mm -hmm. um, but you, if you're an auditory learner or visual learner, um, you're still able to learn all of our repertoire songs cool. that we do, whether it's holiday songs or whether it's regular repertoire that we do um, during the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. I, I have seen you uh, a number of times perform, and you guys really have a lot of fun. 
<laughs> and you know, you bring a lot of joy and excitement into some of these places that you go. You know, like the nursing homes or people who are shut-ins and they don't get out very much. Sure. Talk about how that, how, what that does for you, and how you feel when you're going into that into that type of a situation. Does that energize you? Oh, sure. Yeah. I, I mean, talk about that experience. Performing is uh, especially music. Music. Um, does something different to your soul. It really can connect with the audience or with anyone that you're that you're talking to. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why people go to concerts, live performances, because they just want to be surrounded by that music. Mm -hmm. They want to they want to feel the beat. They want to feel the pulse. They mm -hmm. want to cry. They want to get out mm -hmm. of their lives for you know however long mm -hmm. and be able to get into somebody else's world. I mean, to me, performance that's what it's all about is mm -hmm. trying to touch that audience member and you know just pull at the heartstrings or make them laugh, mm -hmm. give them some uh, beat to dance to. That's mm -hmm. that's kind of what yeah. it's all about. I call you know? it the great equalizer. Yeah. It really is. I mean, it, it, it really brings everybody together. Yeah. Yep. Now, as far as the type of music, I mean, you do, you, you cover many different genres. You know, you go patriotic, you could do, uh, you know, you, you can cover a lot of different things. Uh, with the gazillions of songs that are out there, how do you narrow down those million songs out there to... <laughs> Very carefully. Yeah, <laughs> get them into your repertoire. How do you choose them? And what's the criteria that you look well, for to pick those well, songs? Primarily, we are a barbershop chorus, mm -hmm. so our arrangements um, have to be in that style, which mm -hmm. is four-part harmony, okay. a bass, baritone, lead, and tenor. Mm -hmm. And um, and there are certain chords. chords that are part of that, that mm -hmm. in order that qualify it to be barbershop mm -hmm. song, it's barbershop sound, so that we have a lot of ringing of chords. And so we have to start, we usually start there, and then um, really it's what the chorus wants to sing. And I mean, our favorite is the doo-wop stuff yeah. because of the harmonies mm -hmm. and, the, and the beat and well, stuff. Well, even with the, the, the millions of those out there, yeah. oh, sure. you know, yeah. that uh, we, like does someone come in from your group and say, hey, I heard this great song I haven't heard before. Let's see if we can do that. Do you do that kind of spontaneity? And you know, do you, do you yeah, kind of share ideas really as depends. far as songs? Yeah, I mean, it depends a lot on the arrangement too. We have yeah. to make sure that the arrangement fits the level of the chorus, mm -hmm. um, that it's not too hard or it takes us five months to you know, learn a song. Then okay. at that point in time, we have to say, hey, you know what, maybe we should try something else. But there's a music team. Um, so we have a, a lead section leader, Barit all section leaders of the lead, baritone, um, tenor, and bass, mm -hmm. and myself, and um, the music team mm -hmm. will take some suggestions sometimes from the chorus, sometimes we'll find some, and then um, we put it out to the chorus. And Now, not everybody is going to like every single song. That's never going to happen. Sure. So we just try to get it, so that way we have songs that some people like and songs that other people like, mm -hmm. and then you know we try to switch out songs a couple every year holiday stuff as well. Mm -hmm. um, so we keep our, our repertoire fresh. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's kind of how we do it. Cool. I know one of the things that um, we had seen recently was that uh, for the last couple of years, you folks have been playing down at Pawtucket. Yeah. Yeah. You've been oh, playing yeah. for the, the uh, Pawtucket anthem. Red Sox singing the <laughs> national anthem. How cool is that? Yeah. Well, we've had um, our, we, we call them our sister chorus in Harmony uh, Incorporated. They are Harmony Heritage down okay. in Pawtucket. And now, is so, that part of the same group? Yep, it's Harmony okay. Incorporated. They're just, so Harmony Incorporated, just for those of that, that may not know, Harmony Incorporated has probably about 2,500 members, and we have choruses throughout the United States and Canada, all the way down to Florida, all the way up to like Hal Hal Halifax, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, all, all the way out to um, California, so, and even in like Arizona. So we are a bigger organization and up into the provinces of Canada as well. Mm -hmm. um, so H Harmony Heritage in Pawtucket is actually our sister chorus. Okay. And uh, we've done shows with them, we've done performances with them, mm -hmm. um, and they're a wonderful bunch of ladies as well. So you know, anyone down in the Rhode Island area, there's a chorus down there as well. We're nice. here in Massachusetts. So there's choruses throughout. So if people are looking for some uh, chorus to join, there's uh, Harmony Incorporated's website, just harmonyinc.org, O-R-G. I was just gonna ask about that. Like, you know, you have a core right now of 25. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, is that your core, or could that 25 become 26, or 30, or? 
40? Yeah, everyone can join. Yeah. So somebody can join. So that 25 Absolutely. is not a fixed number. No, yeah. no. And we're always looking for new members. Okay. So, and our only qualifications are that you can carry a tune and that you want to sing as a group with the other, you know, the other 25 of us. Mm -hmm. and, um, and like you said, we have learning tracks and all of that. Mm -hmm. So we just spend our time at rehearsals learning it and bringing it together and really polishing the sounds. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of fun. We really mm -hmm. get a lot out of just singing together every Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. Now, yes. from a listening standpoint, it, it seems rather easy and simple because the harmonies are there. Mm -hmm. But it appears that with all of the practice and, and rehearsals that you do, that it's not all that easy to get those 25 people on the same page and create the same harmonies, is that correct? Well, you know, the interesting thing is that we also, um, throughout the year, um, try to bring in some coaches, mm -hmm. uh, some singing coaches, vocal coaches. Okay. Uh, we've had um, Eric Ruthenberg come from the Barbershop Harmony Society, the men's society come in and coach us. Um, we are very grateful in area two to have some great coaches. Mm -hmm. um, we've had Leanne Iannuzzo, we've had Renee Tremack, who is an award-winning director from New England Voices in Harmony, who actually won our international chorus com uh, cool. competition last year. And uh, she just came and coached us actually last week. Cool. And so we try to um, work with everyone, teach them about the barbershop style, um, you know, we do have an audition process, so when we do have members come in, they're there between four and six weeks, and when they're comfortable to then audition with um, just the quartet, and we want to make sure that they can hold their part because you have the four-part harmony, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you can kind of hold your part enough to be able to make the chords cool. ring. So there, it's not necessarily that you have to... Um, know how to read music or have a music degree, mm -hmm. but there is some um, experience that you do need to have. Mm -hmm. But after four or six weeks, you kind of get that idea. Cool. Um, and you just have fun. And we, we try to make sure we put people in parts that fit their voices. So, you know, if I'm talking to you like this, I will probably be putting you more in a bass tone. If I have a more of a high tenor right. range, then I'm going to put you in like Roxanne as a right. tenor. So. Um, we make sure that everyone's comfortable in what, what their voice part is. Is there an age limit? No. 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 So some, you know, grammar school kid who, who wanted to join that or something. So a young, so we could get Michaela in there, right? Yeah. If Michaela could sing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah the, although, you know, if you're younger than, you know, 16, 18, right. then we would just ask for, you know, to have a guardian to bring sure. you to rehearsals and things like that. And if we go to contests and things like that, we would mm -hmm. just make sure there's a guardian. But, no, we have, uh, I'm not sure how old our oldest member is, but it's around the 80s range. Mm -hmm. so yeah. And, and youngest is 20s? The 20s? youngest is 20s. Yeah. 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 I mean, and, and, um, and it also abilities. I mean, if someone really, you know, during rehearsals needs to sit in a chair, that's fine. Most of us, t most of the time we stand on risers. Mm -hmm. That's how we're, you, we perform and stuff usually. Correct. But, you know, if you need to sit in a wheelchair, that's fine. That's awesome. Oh, there, we have a place is. for you. Yeah. So come join us. That's we have a awesome. place for you. We do. <laughs> now, what's on tap? You guys have been around for a long, our ladies have been around for a long time. And um, any, uh, you know, how does, how does the band evolve? You know, the evolution. How does the band grow? Or how does the band evolve? Because, um, you mm -hmm. know, after being together for so long, uh, what are the next steps? How does it keep moving forward? Well, yeah, I'd, I'd say the way... It, it goes through ebbs and flows, like in terms of size, of course, does ebb right. and flow. We're at a, a solid, very definite over 20 at this point. Um, what, what we do is we're always looking to sing better. Okay. So that's why we have coaching. We're also learning music and we're increasing the level of the music. Okay. And expanding our repertoire. I okay. mean, we used to sing primarily like the doo-wop and right. stuff, but now we're expanding. We have contemporary stuff that we like to do. Some ballads. Ballads. Some and, and, then, um, and then beyond that, yeah, and then we're improving our performance. So, you know, moving Probably to the Probably a choreography. Yeah, a little choreography. choreography nothing, nothing overwhelming, right. but yeah. we usually we like to 
we're always developing the sense of we're telling a story mm -hmm. in every song that we sing. And cool. that just, that takes practice and working together mm -hmm. to find it. And as new people come in, we're, you know, learning how to, you know, improve and, and blend our voices even better. Um, you know, we have women who are younger and they're just, you know, they're in school or they're just getting into working so they don't have the stress of family life or anything like that and they come in and they enjoy. We have some who are older and this is their social time. Cool. You know, they, we do the performances, we, we perform in the community, but the base is because we, the friendships and it's like a family, like, um, I come from about 40, 45 minutes away, mm -hmm. but every after every performance, we make sure, most of us make sure, that at least some of us go out to eat afterwards. Nice. That, that's like a requirement, like Phyllis. <laughs> <We have laughs> Phyllis, who's a, who's a bass, it's all, okay, do we have four parts? Because we're gonna go out to lunch and sing. Yeah. Right. Yep. Okay, then that's, that's what, what we, we do, do. Right? right? And and it's so much fun. We do. I mean, right. when you're sitting in a, in, a, in a restaurant, and all of a sudden, you know, you hear singing, a cappella singing behind you. It's so fun to see the reaction of, right. of people. Oh, yeah. Um, and we've sung happy birthday to people in nice. restaurants, and we're like, okay, when's your birthday? When's your birthday? Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's just a lot of fun. Well, I think it's about time that the audience at home has some fun by listening to you. Excellent. Excellent. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to sit back and relax and enjoy the vocal stylings of the... Notable Blend Chorus. We'll be right back. <laughs> Come celebrate the celebrate the sound all around. We'll have a sound, sound celebration. Join in the symphony, join in the song. Shouting of children, a mother that sighs. With so many voices, oh, 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 oh. we all sound so different that we all are the same. Celebrate with all your might. Music makes the feeling right. Celebrate life every day. Let the music lead the way. Oh, 
<laughs> and ladies here in the studio, they did not disappoint. But Roxanne can tell us because we always tell our guests one of the things that we have to fight is that darn clock. <laughs> so we have just about enough time for maybe to uh, have you let the folks at home know where you're going to be playing, how to get a hold of you, some of the venues. So Roxanne, take it from there. Yep. Okay, so here's where we're going to be performing in December. We're at December 1st at the Avon Christmas Festival um, in, on 87 North Main Street in Avon at 1 p.m. On December 7th at 2 p.m. is our annual holiday show at the Good Shepherd Presbyterian Church um, in Southeastern. And that's one you don't want to miss. I have seen that. And then uh, later that day, we're actually performing at the Ames Free Library at 7 p.m. On December 12th, we perform at the Taunton Public Library on 12 Pleasant Street in Taunton. December 14th at uh, 12 p.m., we're uh, singing at the Berkeley Council on Aging Holiday Dinner. And then on the 15th, we're singing at the Easton Festival of Trees at 2 p.m. at That's the Easton Country Club. You can find our website at notableblend.org, and you can also find the contact information. And we'd love to see you come and just, just sit and just listen to us and see if it's something that you want to do. Beautifully done, Roxanne. The ladies and gentlemen, you are going to have many opportunities to see these women perform. And in addition to that, I always encourage people to go out and support your local musicians. They cannot perform what they do without you being there. So, first of all, thank you so much for coming on. Roxanne, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show thank rather you, than Frank. behind the show. <laughs> thank you. And thank you so much for coming on, Angie. I appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having us. Yes, yeah, it was a so lot much. of fun. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank uh, Dave Young and Lorreen Kubek who are in the booth. Thank you pushing the buttons and making us look and sound pretty. I want to thank all the ladies in the studio here today who perform for you. Everyone here at SMAC who allows us to do what we do. So, until the next time, I am Frank Walsh. As always, tune in and tune on.